outside today. The uh, little cabbie's getting some love. Let me show you why. So, check out my brand new tyres. Look at all this lovely tread we have all the way across until you get to the inner edge. When there is nothing! I mean, that is worn so flipping quickly. Which kind of says to me, your tracking's out, mate. The other new one I put on a few months ago again. Got tread, got tread, got tread. Nothing. A little bit of tread on the outside. That has just worn itself completely smooth. Just... I think these are brand new. Three, maybe four months ago. I don't think I've even done a thousand miles. Excuse me for shaking, it's really cold out today. So yeah, plan is. The plan is to go and get tracked, which means driving over to work, throwing it on the tracking ramp, and trying to dodge out of everyone's way, because they're obviously trying to do work on Saturday. So, good way to spend your weekend off. Go to work, track the car, and then depending how rich I'm feeling and or how long's left on this video, maybe some tyres on it, that might be the next video. Who knows? Let's see where the day takes us. Let's roll. Basically, what are we actually trying to fix? So I'm hoping today we're going to get rid of the tyre wear problem. That other problem you probably notice a bit more behind the steering wheel is that the car just absolutely loves to grab tram lines in the road. You see like potholes and you hit one with just one wheel because they tend to be one-sided. Um, yeah, so if you hit a pothole with one wheel, it just jumps the car like three foot to the left or right, depending which wheel you catch, which is just the least fun thing in the world. I was going down the Julie on the way home from work the other day and probably down about 60 and when the car just suddenly springs one way or the other you've got to correct into it. That's not fun! So I hope I'm going to sort that out. I kind of think um, I might have camera issues as well because it's just I think I might, it's, it's a sneaking suspicion. I might get onto that later, I might not if it just seems quite boring. But the general plan for today, driving the scenic way into work, uh, you might see the aeroplanes going past, um, plan airports on the other side that you can't see, so a bit of plane spotting while we're here. Um, but yeah, so rolling past Plan Airport, gonna go to work, I'm basically just gonna throw it on the tracking machine, hope my track rods ain't seized up, do the toe on it. Um, sort of funky dunk machine and it will show me the camber and all of that good shit so yeah we're basically going to go and do a, an exciting tracking session um, as exciting as tracking can be pretty much I don't know how much I'll actually be able to film at work because the shop radio is always playing and YouTube will probably pull that up um, so I might just film some bits on the GoPro and the rate over it as we have seen terribly done in other videos but yeah pretty much get there make sure there's enough space on the ramps and hopefully crack on pretty quick taxi god life's not a race kids I'm going to cut this here, we'll skip forwards a bit to work and I'm going to jump on a GoPro and hopefully show you some of the sketchy drivingness of it. Mm, yeah. I don't know if you can see, alright, this is on the corner. Even on the straight bits, I'm holding the wheel a little bit pissed to go in a straight line, which is not ideal. And it's when you start getting on, on a bit of luck, that's when it feels like we're just rolling right off the edge, onto the edge of the tyre. And you get a kind of, uh, which is just not fun at all. Yeah, 
particularly corners like this, it just feels it just feels like we're running on the edges of the tyres. Not fun. Pretty poo everywhere. First things first, cup of coffee, get the car on the ramp. Let's do it. Before I put the little alignment machines on each wheel, I've got to chuck it on the swivel plates so that the wheels can move freely. These are all lubricated, as so I failed to show you by shaking it. Um, the jack's off the car, so the weight's all on the turn plates, but I'll leave it there. So the car ain't got nowhere to go. It does try and roll. Well, they're filthy. They're getting cleaned up. Crack them off. Then we'll get started. Actually, I should. Take the locks a lot first, but that's what we're gonna do. So I've got the wheel gauges on the car, it's ready to go. The little green light shows that they're all level, so this side's good to go. I've got the brake bar on it, so the brake lights are gonna be on, and that just stops the car rolling off the plates. Gauges are all good to go, and in a second. I'm going to show you the specs of the car, or well, this is what the wheel alignment machine says they should be, so that's what we're going to set them to. Now, let's do a lock to lock, or basically finding two points on the lock, and it measures the different angles of the front wheels, so it's pretty accurate, as we'll see in a minute. More of a struggle than it needed to be, can't open the driver's window, and that is a problem for turning the wheel lock to lock. Um, the problem being that if I then jump in the car, that changes the weight of how it sits on the car and that upsets the level of the alignment things which are pretty sensitive, so fun, fun and games. Let's see how bad it is anyway. Mmm, toe, not so good. Camber is horrific on the driver's side. The rear toe is not ideal, but I can't change that. And the rear camber is, yeah, a bit pissed as well, but not much we can do about that. Let's adjust the front, let's go from there. Yeehaw! Track rods are seized. Solution induction heater. Let's burn these motherfuckers off. Too hot, too spicy. Done. Just look at that improvement. So there, degrees, that's minutes on a degree. Each degree has 60 minutes in it. That's how accurate we go. Camera's still a bit pissed. How far out is that? Yeah, it's a fair bit out. Still better than it was though. So this is what I basically mean when I say lock to lock. The machine um, 
rotate two points on the turning circle of the wheel um, and it checks the caster and the toe out and etc etc and all of those things um, so you go through this process which is kind of hidden by the watermark so I apologise for that so here we've got the old front and rear settings and the new front and rear settings let me just show you the setup before I put it away my nice little chair for moving the wheel and uh, inside the car the brake bar still on and the steering wheel lock We have a film with a top down before. So let's hope the uh hope the audio is alright. Number one, test drive with new tracking. Kind of seems to go in a straight enough line. Does make it pull, doesn't it? So straight line. My wheel sat left hand down. Yeah, it's not that bit. Should be a lot more neutral. Let's hope so. Let's switch you over the bumps. It definitely feels like it's not completely leaning off the tyre wall now. All of which are good things. Let's let Mr. Euros go past. Man them. Well, it's a definite improvement. I can't be bothered to be at work anymore because it's my weekend off. We'll probably continue this video later. Let's cut to the drive home. Right, so let's leave work. Uh, my hood's gonna come down and my hair will go everywhere. Hang on, let's just dodge this. This may do. Cheers, mate. Crazy locals with the crazy forklifts. I don't think we'll be able to see them. Right, so that was a nice little first test drive. Um, it isn't perfect. The steering wheel sits pitched that way instead of that way now. The car goes in a straight line. And more importantly, it doesn't feel like I'm slipping off the edge of the tyre. Because before it felt like it's kind of the side wall would just keep bending until you were kind of driving off the side. The tyre wanted to pop off the rim. Now it feels planted more in the middle of the wheels. So, uh, plan is... What is the plan? To get out in front of this bus first. The second of all... Uh, come on, let me out. Oh. Cheers, mate! fuel have we got? Enough to get us back to work on Monday. That'll do. So, plan. Um, sandwich shop, because it's a banging one here. I think we deserve to celebrate getting our tracking slightly better. Uh, we'll take some roundabouts on the drive home. Probably stop filming, because I'm going to be singing along to Rihanna or something. Um, yeah, so... Pretty much see when I'm at home eating some lunch or something like that enjoying the rest of my Saturday off 
and hopefully, fingers crossed, there's not too much traffic. So I'm going to end the video here guys, I realised while I was watching it that I haven't really gone into any of the details of the like tracking process and what any of the kind of camber, toe caster, bits and bobs like that mean, so I think I'm going to make another video, um, there's the tracking sheet of all of the seriously accurate things that machine can read, so like way more information than you need to do, like just a regular toe and go track, but we have the ability to use that so I'm going to try and sort out the camber on the driver's front wheel and a couple of bits and bobs like that. It's nice because the car definitely drives a lot nicer, it tracks straighter and it just feels like you can kind of let go of the steering wheel and it will go in a straight line a little bit more whereas before it would literally dart across the road and yeah not fun to drive. Now it's like a more relaxing car to drive, you haven't got to grip onto the wheel to keep the car in a straight line. So. Definite improvements here. Um, jump in the comments if you want to see that other video about kind of more in detail tracking things and how that affects actually driving the car. Um, I figure this is a pretty good car as a kind of starting point because it's so terrible that at like 25 mile an hour, if you kind of start pushing on around roundabouts, it will just understeer and oversteer. And yeah, it's it's really not great. So. It will be getting new tyres and kind of I'm going to fine tune the tracking a little bit more. But for now, it's way better of a daily car to drive. So, so as ever, if you're new, please consider subscribing. Feel free to throw anything in the comments and I'll see you next time.